Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can reset all your Windows permission easily. Okay, so all you need to do is download this tool and it pretty much does the rest for you. But just, you know, just want to talk about why you would want to do that in the first place. It's mainly because, you know, if when you install different programs, you know, some programs could change the registry of your computer or different permissions and you may not even notice right or you could, could have accidentally been like messing around with something and just mess something up and you don't know what the original permissions were okay so this tool uh, is called tweaking right so tweaking.com um, this tool basically allows you to do that very easily so what you want to do is go to tweaking.com and then go to over here where it's um, Windows Repair Tool Free Pro. So you can get the Pro one also, but in this video we'll just be using the free one. Um, you can get the installer or the portable version. I already have the portable version downloaded, so I'll, I'm going to be using that one, right? But it, it's, it doesn't make a difference. You can use either one. All right. So let's minimize this. And here I have the Windows tweaking uh, tweaking Windows Repair over here. And now let's scroll down and double click the repair underscore windows dot exe. So let's just give it a second to load everything. Startup check. Oops. Where'd it go? Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I'm starting up free version. You can see on top, this is the version I have 4.13. And what you want to do is you can go through the whole setup um, if you want, but since it's only, I'm only going to be showing you guys the permission part of it. It doesn't really matter to go through the settings. So let's just go to jump to repairs and you know, it has a lot of other options as well. So just to keep in mind, if you want to do this, first you want to make sure to run your antivirus or malware virus detector and basically clean anything out. Okay, so if you, you want to do an initial scan first and then and then run this. All right, um, once you do that, um, you want to disable your antivirus because when you to reset the permissions, right? So I clicked it, give it a second to load. Okay, so it's just giving you a warning that Windows is not in safe mode. Third party programs, including your antivirus, can interfere with the repairs and break your system. So you want to make sure your antivirus is off. You have no extra services running in the background. So, because you know, antiviruses sometimes they do, um, if you have two antiviruses running on one system, it definitely could cause issues. You know, it'll definitely it'll detect one antivirus as a virus and then vice versa. So you definitely want to, um, make sure you're not running any antivirus. So you can either run in safe mode, which will prevent antiviruses from running, or you can just disable that. Okay. And so right now I'll just do, I understand the risk. Okay. All right. Now let's look at these options that are over here. You can see there's like 33 options and then there's sub options for some of them. Okay. So we want to have the first three checked for sure. Registry, Reset registry permissions, reset file permissions, and reset service permissions. So these are the three permissions um, of your computer that will be resetted and basically should be fine. Uh, along with that, I like to do select this one as well, remove policies set by infections. So this is basically when, like, let's say if your computer was infected in the past, you know, those viruses or malwares can change the permissions or some policies in the background, which um, might mess up your computer or just you know leave it vulnerable to other uh, attacks and malware and viruses so you want to have that checked also all right um, then you can just go to the next one uh, you know repair icons which I, I don't have an issue with I'm mostly just concerned about the permissions next what you want to do is press start repairs I'm not going to press it right now because I do have an antivirus running and I've just ran this recently um, so it doesn't really uh, won't do much on my system but basically when you press it um, it'll just take a little while to reset all the permissions the more things you have selected the longer it will take right just keep that in mind so try to keep it to the bare minimum you know once in a while um, if you want to you could do all of it just make sure they all uh, apply to you or are some way beneficial right um, otherwise you're just wasting time um, so yeah, just have those selected, whatever you need, press start repairs. It'll take a couple minutes to run, finish it, fix everything. And then you will have to reboot your computer. Okay. And then once you reboot your computer, it will, um, 
run with the permissions back to whatever the default value was when you first installed Windows. Okay, you may not know a difference after you reboot it. Everything might feel exactly the same, right? Um, and, you know, that may be the case. Nothing has changed. But um, it also may be the case that it did fix something in the background and you just haven't noticed. And for the future, you are more protected. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Tweaking.com, definitely check it out tools is free uh download it i'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out straight from there other than that if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace